Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa and welcome to Season 9, Episode 3 of The Impossible Dream with Bala Town. And today we are playing Ludogorets of uh, Bulgaria in the Champions League qualifying round win. And we're back in that group stages. Uh, lose and we go down to the Europa League uh, and miss out on all that Champions League money. But we start in the medical centre and that is because our new left back, Reese Norrington Davies, has picked himself up an injury. I clicked on the wrong thing there. Um, here we go. We can see it's a pull... Pulled ab muscle. It's not the worst injury. It's about two weeks. So he's going to miss, unfortunately, um, well, at least the first leg. In all likelihood, both legs of this playoff. Um, so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a blow. We did bring him in, you know, specifically to try and get the job done for us in Europe. Um, so hopefully he's not going to turn out to be a sick note for us. And we will actually get, um, you know, we will actually get some, uh, some quality games out of him. But he is missing for this one. Now we have begun our league defense uh, since last episode. We had a really tougher first game of the season against the New Saints. Let's go see how we did in that one. An own goal opened the scoring in the second half before Rene Feld played in Paul McVeigh in stoppage time, who produced a stunning finish. So this was a really decent performance from us. You can see there, we, we essentially controlled the game. Uh, we were, were struggling to get a goal, so we ended up having to take Allmark off. So not a good start on his bid for 50 league goals this season. I'm <laughs> getting subbed off in disgrace. But otherwise, you know, we weren't too bad. We created chances. It took a known goal to open the scoring, but that McVeigh goal, it was he's looking good this season, isn't he, old Paul McVeigh? Um, so a really, really good, solid start to the season away at the New Saints. It doesn't get any tougher than that in the Welsh League, and we came through with flying colours. So a quick look at the league league table, early league table, you can see we've only played the one game, um, and you can see where we stand there. For season preview though, we'll go and have a quick look at that. As you would imagine, we are, we're favourites, we're Evans favourites, uh, New Saints are 5-1. to one. You can see the team of the, the media dream team is basically Bala Town, um, and our two key players according to the game are Tommy Williamson and uh, Kieran Topley as well. Uh, if you have a quick look down at the other players here, other, the, the sort of teams and the games they are important for them. Um, do we see any of our ex-players? Kirk Butland, of course, came through our Youth Academy with uh, Damien Ormark. Um, so he's a key player. He's, he's decent, actually. I think if uh, things had been different, he would have he could have made it with us as well. Um, and if we go all the way down there, no, just the one sort of ex uh, Bala player as a key uh, as a key player. Um, now, one thing I did want to quickly catch you up on with TNS is exactly what they did in Europe this year. So we left off sort of at the second half of the second qualifying round at the Euro 2 Cup. Now, unfortunately, uh, well, the New Saints did get through. They beat their Serbian opposition, which is a big scalp, I'd say, for a Welsh team. Unfortunately, though, the other two did miss out. Bengal City got a little bit of a trouncing by Red Star. Seven zip on aggregate. And if we go all the way down here, Afen Lido, unfortunately, the second leg didn't go to plan. They lost 5-0 at home. So, um... There's a, such a there's such a drop off, isn't there, in Europe? Uh, but that was really really good that the New Saints got through. And if we're going to have a look at the third qualifying round, they drew Sporting Lisbon. They lost one nil on aggregate. I hate the New Saints with all my being, but bravo to them. That is one hell of an effort. They're really really unlucky there, I'd say, to go out. Um, quick look at the second leg here. They were down to ten men as well. Um, and yeah, you've got to say, really, really unlucky. I mean, not you know, well, they were down to 10 men. But against uh, against Sporting, we would struggle, I'd say, against Sporting. So they've done really well there. And it's a, such a shame for the sake of the Welsh League that they could not have uh, have got through there and, um, yeah, gone a little bit further. But anyway, that's, uh, that's sort of European football done for the rest of the league. It's just us, as usual, flying the Welsh flag in Europe. And we are now... Well, two games away from hopefully getting back into this Champions League group stage. We have a favourite for this game against Luda Goretz. Um, we don't know too much about them. They have a look at their key player. Um, he's good without being outstanding. We have better players now, which is nice to say. Um, I, well, I think we have better players anyway. Uh, we can see here we're expecting a Rusko bus park to come out against us. They did beat Zagreb in the last round. And Zagreb are usually a good team. Um, so... They're not going to be. They're not going to be hopeless. That much we can, uh, I think, bank on. And this is a team that we're sending out. It's Tennis Kovic in goal. It's Burke, O'Halloran, Topley, and Follerin as the back four. York and Murphy go in midfield. Without, um, without Kieran, to not Kieran Topley. What's his name? Callum Connolly. I'm going to give Marcus Baker the chance to play out wide right. He's always played well for us in the league, so I think he earns the earns the chance, and then we'll go from there. Uh, Dixon and Vukovic uh, are the rest of the attacking trio. Williamson goes up top. We're at home first. Let's see what we can do. All right, and here we go. This is oh, it's, it's clean sheet, boys. Just try and keep a clean sheet for me. Uh, Gomez says go out there, pick up where they left off. Um, 
Come on, boys. Just keep the run of form going. Keep it going for me. Uh, and let's see what we can do. Yeah, now there was a suggestion in the comments from Ryan Moss about how we get around the Callum Connolly departure of maybe moving Vukovic over and using him as sort of an insider in forward or an inverted winger or something along those lines. Um, and I'm not against that. I, there's some logic there because Follerin's a good crosser, so if we get him a little bit further forward, um, that could work. But I just think first and foremost, before we try and get too creative with things, uh, we'll try and uh, we'll try and use Baker out there, see if he works, and if not, then we'll have to start and try and get creative until January when we have our, our German friend coming in. Here we go with Sam York getting forward for Murphy. Back to York. Don't get caught in possession here, boys. Murphy, ball forward. It's there for Follerin. Pulls it back. Williamson says, Williamson misses. Oh, it was a really, really good chance for Tommy Williamson, and he's missed it. Is that going to come back and bite us later on? Here we go. Free kick. Burke over the top of it. It's there for Halloran. Oh, Halloran's there. Second time of us. We've hit the post and it's not going to be our day, is it? Oh, that's... Uh, he had two chances. Oh, Halloran. And he's missed them both. Demand more. Come on, boys. Oh, we've given away a free kick now. Come on. Come on. Watch it, Tennis Kovic. Watch it. I don't like this. I don't like it. He doesn't look ready. He doesn't look ready. Into the wall. A second time. Oh, it's just past the Come on, Bala. Come on. Settle it in, boys. Settle it in. We can do this. Let's see if we can get to the break. A nil-nil is maybe not the worst, but you want. We, ideally, we want a lead, don't we, going back home. Um, who's playing up? It's Baker only playing a 6.4 out there. Um, all right, boys. Let's... We're not happy with that. We've got, we've, got, we've got to expect more. We've got to be better now. Come on. Uh, we had two really big chances there. We've missed them both, and you just you just wonder, don't you? Um, so neither of the wide guys are playing well. That suggests it could be a tactical thing, doesn't it? Let's exploit the flanks. Let's take it off early crosses, and let's see what that does for us. Um, here we go. Corner, Burke, in. It's decent. It's Topley now, and Topley's missed it as well. Boys, come on. Concentrate. We need to put some of these chances away. Williamson's not having a good game up top. Um, do we need to make do we need to make changes? Follow and throws it in there for Baker. One thing he can do is dribble. So if we can if he can get into a situation where he's dribbling at a man, that's decent. It's their back post and Vukovic this time over the bar. Boys, come on, please. Stick one of these chances away for me. Calm down. Um, here we go. Following with a throw for Dixon. Back for Baker. Baker's crosses block. Following gets it in. Vukovic. Vukovic. Good save from their goalkeeper. It's Burke. It's got to be. Oh, it's a block. Dixon's hit it straight into the defender. How have we not scored in this game? We're going to get FM, aren't we? You can see it coming a mile away. All right, let's make changes. Um, up, Gareth. On you go, mate. On you go. Will you, do I take Williamson off? Um, let's try him as the complete forward. Let's just try altering his role a little bit and see if that helps us at all. Um, here we go. Burke for Vukovic. Back for Burke. Crosses it in. It's up. Gareth! Oh! We're going to lose this game 1-0, aren't we? I'm taking Williamson off. He's not having a good day. Let's get Felge up there. Target man for me, mate. Come on. Um, show some passion, boys. Come on. I guess if we don't concede an away goal, that's something. But oh, we don't. We don't really want to be going back to, oh, over the Bulgaria with a nil-nil with 20 seconds to play. I have no idea how we haven't scored in this game. Surely we're going to get a late goal here, aren't we? It's there for Murphy. Murphy for York. He's got a man down the line. Vukovic, I'm assuming it is. Or maybe it's Burke. He goes cross field. App Gareth is going to pick it up. Come on, App. Can he get a cross in? He goes back for Foller and Foller and dinks it in. It's there for Fouls! Rene Fouls with the last kick of the game. Surely has given us a lead. Oh, and it was a long time coming. But look at that. We're over stoppage time. I'm sure the Bulgarian manager is losing it. Good ball in from Foller and Felge made a run and finally somebody has found the back of the net. A second goal this season for Felge and it is 1-0 Bala Town and we do take a lead with us to Bulgaria. A narrow one at that but a lead nonetheless. Boys, we'll say that uh, don't get complacent. 
a vintage display earns Barla Town victory. It wasn't vintage finishing, but we did play quite well. Uh, another day, that could have been four or five, like we tended to, we tend to do in qualifying. Following shines, really, really good stuff there from Ronnie. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the first leg done, guys. Wait right there. We have a league fixture against Connors Key, I think it is. I'll play through that, update you on the highlights, and then we'll have the second leg. Okay, welcome back, and we do have some transfer news. Michael Stewart has left the club, off to Lyon, half a million pounds, plus 50% of his next transfer fee. Um, he just never quite did it for us. He is a good player. He is a good striker as well, but he just, he just uh, for whatever reason, didn't settle into the way we play. Um, so he's gone off. I know he can play on the right wing, but can he kind of thing, just because it says he can play there. I don't necessarily think it does, because I don't, he's just not, he can't dribble and he can't cross. Um, and that's not, we have other players that can do that kind of thing, or not do that as the case may be. You can see there, he's, he scored goals when he played, but he was I just always felt a little bit disappointed by him, to be honest. So, anyway, we've made a half a million pound profit off of him. Um, we've got other options there, and yeah, I think, well, let me know what you guys think. I, I don't think we're going to miss him, we'll put it that way. Uh, anyway, we have, of course, the league fixture against Connors Key to catch you up on. Let's go see how that went. Professor McGonigal smashed us into the lead midway through the first half. And we doubled our lead moments later when Allmark opened his season's account. Before great build-up play from McVeigh set up Adam Maurice to make it three at the break. Connors Key pulled one back after half-time. But poor McVeigh's stunner made sure of the points. So there we go, a comfortable win in the end, and poor McVeigh is looking absolute just class this season. A fantastic assist for the McVeigh, for the uh, Maurice goal, and then a stunner of his own. Um, yeah, he's just having a really, really good year, and long may that continue. So a good solid three points uh, in the league. Let's all take a moment, look at the league table, and to laugh at the new Saints above the relegation zone on goal difference alone. Um, so that's fantastic, isn't it? But there we go. We're sitting top with a game in hand. Um, the league is looking well and truly uh, in hand this season. I should say, too, Iron Brew Cup, third round, we've got Dumbarton, a chance for revenge. Of course, they knocked us out of that competition last season. And Welsh League Cup, third round, we're at home to Carnarvon. Um, so that's a bit quick update on sort of league uh, draws that we've had. But it's all about this right now, isn't it? This Champions League, second leg of the playoff. We are 1-0 up going off to uh, to Bulgaria. We're favourites. You'd expect us to be favourites. We were by far the better team in that first leg, I thought. So if we can perform like that again, surely we will score some more goals. And of course, away goals now as well for us. But we're expecting them to come out the same way. Uh, we can see what they did against us last time. They just sat narrow. Um, that's an interesting heat map that the goalkeeper has there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, mind out of the gutter, Aussie villain. Uh, and we can see there, their passing network and their key passes there as well. And let's have a look at the team we're sending out. It's more or less the same team, but we are, you will notice a change in the attacking third. So Tennis Kovic goes in goal. It's uh, Burke, O'Halloran, Topley, and Folloran as the back four. Folloran as an attacking fullback in this one. It's York and Murphy in midfield. We're going to try Vukovic as an inverted winger. He's left footed. Um, so we're going to try it, just try it, see how it goes, uh, with, uh, Dixon and then Davies, who physically is not dissimilar to, uh, to Connolly. Good pace, good acceleration, uh, good agility, decent balance. So we're going to see how he goes out there. It's going to be Williamson up top. Hopefully he'll stick off your way in this game. Um, yeah, let's go. All right, and here we are in Bulgaria, raring to go and hoping that we are going to end this episode with a Champions League group stage and not a Europa League group stage. Uh, Gomez says pick up where they left off. Um, just yeah, keep the run going, boys. We're doing okay, aren't we? We are doing okay, so there's no need to, no need to panic. But, uh, you know, as I said, an away goal, if we can get the away goal, we should be fine. Uh, and we've got a kickoff highlight. Um... But, I mean, we just need to stick chances away. We were fine in that. We, uh, we were good in that first leg, except that we couldn't score a goal. We were a little bit unlucky with hitting posts and things like that. Um, but, you know, you make your own luck at times, don't you? Here we go. Burke picks up a loose pass. Murphy has it now. He goes forward for Sean Davies. Knocks it down there for Williamson. Goes past his man, Tommy Williamson. Decent effort, but past the post. And we come straight back for the goal kick. 
there's that a loose one. No, it's uh, found a man in a bit too much space to my liking. He goes past Follower and he's got back okay there. Can we win that? No, we can't. And it's a very open start to the game, isn't it? We're only a minute in here and we seem to have had nothing but highlights and he's offside. Oh, lucky, lucky boys. Lucky. Let's have another look at that. You can see the linesman didn't move up there, but how close was this? He has... Yeah, he's gone early. Uh, Topley is that playing him on... Or almost playing him on, I should say. A little bit a little bit too deep there. But that's that's okay. We've got away with that. Um, we did have some bids come in for Jake O'Halloran. Uh, we're pushing up towards the million pound. I think it was top of my head, Portsmouth and somebody. I can't remember who the other team was. Ideally, we don't want to sell him. Um, mainly because I think we've got enough players. Davies. Decent chance from the corner straight into the goalkeeper's arms. Um... Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to sell anybody else if I can help it now, um, unless it's someone that we're willing to sell because we've got a better option sort of at, at the club. Whereas I don't think we're in that situation with O'Halloran. There we go. Davies goes past one. What can he do? He goes on the outside. It's tackled away, but Burke picks up the loose ball. York has it now. He looks for a cross field pass to Follerin. He finds Vukovic. Vukovic a cross field back to Burke. We'll try this again. York and Burke exchange passes. Back to York. Back to Burke. York's open, mate. He goes for Murphy instead. Murphy finds York. And here we go. Okay, Dixon. Dixon, nice ball there for Davies. Can he pull it back? Williamson's begging for it. It's a good block by the defender. And we still cannot put many goals past this Ludogorets defense. They are really good at last-ditch defending, aren't they? They, uh, they're definitely riding their luck, but they're, you know, you could argue they're owning that luck as well. As I said, you do make your own luck at times. O'Halloran now, can he get at the... Uh, it go, it's off the post. Oh, have we got a little bit of luck? I tell you what, there is absolutely no uh, luck in front of goal for either team in this in this uh, in this tie. Is there? Both teams seem to be uh, finding it very difficult to hit the back of the net. Again, we've been the better team here. If we can get that goal, then you would fancy us. But we've got to get the goal first. If they get back to one-one, then you wonder what that might do. Maybe that would wake us up. Hopefully, we're not going to have to find out. Gabriel has it there. Follower and pounces on the loose pass. Hacks it forward, but there's no one there. Can we win this ball back? Good pressure, boys. Go on, Tommy. He can't quite get it back, and they've played around our press. Gabriel has it again. He looks dangerous out there, doesn't he? He goes past Follower, and is that a penalty? No, it's not. It's a horrible effort at goal. Another highlight. Starts with a throw-in for us. York has it. Back to O'Halloran. O'Halloran, don't get caught in possession, mate. He doesn't. He goes back to Taniskovic. Back to O'Halloran. All right, come on, boys. Pass and move. Pass and move. It's a poor pass from Topley. Come on, mate. You're better than that. Ball back in field. And, oh, that's another ball over the top. Again, Gabriel has found a way past Follerin. And, oh, it is over the bar. Um. All right, let's take it off hit early crosses. And see where that leads us. Uh, let's tell them to get creative here. Again, we've not been bad. But you wouldn't accuse us of being particularly good either. It's 1-0. Uh, what do we say? It's got to be an assertive. Don't uh, yeah, don't get complacent here, boys. Um, we did see us improve last time out when we exploited the flanks, didn't we? Uh, and we've seen that... They are quite narrow as well. So let's try that. Um, the other thing actually we might do is we might defend with a little bit more width. We've seen especially Gabriel getting forward. Here we go with Vukovic. Can he cut in? No, he cannot. Ball forward. We should get to that. Topley's there. He does. York brings it forward for Murphy. Murphy, good ball, is it? Yes, it does. It finds Davies for Williamson. Tommy Williamson sticks it away. And that's the away goal. Sean Davies with the assist out there on the left. And is that the goal that will get us through? They need three now. It's a massive away goal. It was a good ball to find him, wasn't it? Murphy with a cracking pass out there. He's having a good season as well. And Davies did what he needed to do. And Williamson this time finds the back of the net. It's 2-0 on aggregate, 1-0 on the night. And surely now we can start hoping and planning to get back into this group stage. Burke with the corner. Decent. It's O'Halloran. O'Halloran gets a second. And surely now that is it. A second of the season, a second for the game. It's 3-0 in aggregate. And I'm going to say, boys, have a bit of praise. You've come out this second half and you've looked much, much better. Clinical in front of goal. We've scored two goals in six minutes.
Amazing stuff. They're looking nervous and anxious, and you should do, boys. You're being beaten by a better side. All right, do we want to make any changes here? Um, we do have App Gareth on the bench. I kind of want to see give this a game of Vukovic and Davies and see what we think of it. Uh, we haven't seen Vukovic looking anywhere near as dangerous, have we? Um, which is maybe a problem. Maybe we should uh, actually make a change for this last 10 and see if we notice any difference. They're ball to the back post. Williamson, it's cleared away. And Follerin brings it forward. What can he do? Don't get caught in possession, mate. He doesn't. Gets back to Topley. Forward to York. York for Dixon. Dixon in there for Williamson, who gets tackled away from him. If they were to get a goal back now with 10 to play, it is just still a little bit nervous. But they would need four, wouldn't they? So it's unlikely. Uh, but, you know, collapses can happen. We don't want to give them a reason. We don't want to give them hope. Vukovic, this is a nice little passing movement coming forward. It's a decent ball. Over the top there. Davies picks it up. Can he pull it back for Williamson? Oh, it's a good save from their goalkeeper. Cleared into touch. And let's make a change. You can see yeah, Vukovic is not really having a good game out there, is he? So let's just try it. Um, Davies is looking tight anyway. He's had a really good game on that left-hand side. And that actually looks quite promising. Uh, but let's get Ap Gareth on as a winger. And just see if we notice any difference in, in our play. A um, couple of minutes to play here. It doesn't look like we're going to get much of a chance. We've got a corner. Burke knocks it in. It's not the best, but it's a missed header. Sam York can't quite get to it. And that's cleared into touch again for a throw-in. And, well, we don't really get to know. But we are back in that group stages with all the money that that entails. Ball to the back post. O'Halloran can't top it off with a goal. But 2-0 on the night, 3-0 on aggregate. It's been a tough game against Ludogorets, but we've just about deserved that, I think. Um, so well done to us. That's a fantastic performance. And we are going back to that Champions League group stage. Uh, well done, boys. So there we go. First leg triumph helps Barla Town past Ludogorets. Let me know what you think in the comments of, uh, of how that worked with Vukovic and, and Davies. If anything, I feel like... Maybe what it proved is that we have uh, another good option on the left, but we're still struggling on the right. So maybe it's just made things a little bit more complicated for us. Guys, wait right there. We will end the episode with our group stage draw. Let's see who we get. Well, hopefully we get a friendly draw this time. Hello? Yeah, look, we're just taking off. What do you want, mate? Oh, he signed the contract. Perfect. Excellent. Well, welcome him to the club for me uh, and tell him I look forward to seeing him when I get back. Okay, before we get to the Champions League draw, we have made a signing. Albert Criado, uh, a little bit of a panic buy, but we'll have a look at him in just a second and see what we've got here. He was transfer listed at uh, Cordoba in Spain, so just under 60 grand we've paid for him. We're paying him just over a grand a week. Um, he signed as a breakthrough prospect, uh, moving into a fringe player, um, which, is, which is fine. That's good. He's 18 years old. Let's have a look at what we've signed here. Now, he is... Technically a right winger, but he is left-footed. So we're sort of back into territory of inverted wingers um, inside forward kind of territory here. Um, basically, we signed him because he was cheap. Um, but he's got decent pace, decent agility, decent acceleration. Uh, he can cross and dribble. He's got good determination, which hopefully will help him develop. You can see there he's not going to be a star. Um, but it was a bit, little bit of a sort of a needs must signing. So we'll see how he goes. Uh, he has played a little bit in sort of Spain's lower leagues, but not really too much. Um, so yeah, we'll just, it's one of those. We'll just see how it is. You know, worst case scenario, we've, 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 spent, we've spent 60 grand on a flop. Um, so like I say, that's him. That's Albert Criado. And we will uh, we'll see how he gets on with, uh, with Baila Town. But we have the Champions League group stage draw to look forward to. Now we're dropped down into the fourth seeded uh, pot for this one, which is needless to say, disappointing it's going to make our life that much more difficult again but sometimes you see some big teams from big leagues in the in the fourth pot so it, you never know maybe it'll work in our in our favor you, you just never know uh, but have a look at the first seeds it's Manchester United it's Paris it's uh it's Inter it's Besiktas who we would love to get as a top seed it's Madrid it's um Bay Munich it's Wolverhampton they must have won the Europa League uh and it is uh and it's uh, Moscow as well so if we could get Moscow or Besiktas as our top seed um, 
then that would be something quite magnificent, isn't it? We would just we'll just skip through there. Now let's have a quick look at the second seeds. And this is look at the teams in this one. It's Chelsea, Barcelona, AC Milan, and Roma behind my head, plus Liverpool, Man City, Lyon, and Juventus to make up the the difference there. Let's have a quick look and see who everybody gets here. Um already I'd say we don't want group B. Uh ideally we don't want group C. Group D is looking decent. Uh Besiktas and Chelsea kind of ruins that a little bit. Uh, but Liverpool get Inter and Barcelona get Manchester United. So Group H is one to avoid as well. The third pot, there is Atletico Madrid. There's Monaco, Sevilla and Lille behind my head, plus Porto, Celtic, Benfica and Ajax. If we could avoid Atletico Madrid, Monaco and Sevilla and possibly Lille, these other ones aren't the worst, are they? Uh, maybe Porto would be one to avoid. But let's have a look here. Um, so Group A is looking decent enough. We do not want Group B, and we're almost certainly going to get it. Uh, group C is probably one to avoid as well. Group D, oh, can we get Group D? I would give us a chance of getting out of that group, uh, like in staying in the Champions League, never mind anything else. If we can get a little bit of luck with this draw... We could find ourselves in Europe. All right, let's have a look at the rest of the teams in our pot. So it's uh, Red Bull Salzburg, Zenit St. Petersburg, uh, Slavia Prague, Dundalk, Dynamo Kiev, ourselves, Schalke, and uh, and and Hertha Berlin. So yeah, by being in this pot, we, we, we've avoided German teams, potentially. Oh, Group D. Please, game. Please. You cost me Callum Connolly. Give me Group D. Don't give me Group B. Don't give me Group B. Thank Christ for that. Group C. All right, please. 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 Ah, oh, No. Are we going to get... What else do we want? Maybe Group F? Uh, group G? No, I don't think we want that one. And so it's Group H. We've got a group of death. Oh, how have we done that? We're going to be playing Manchester United. We're going to be playing Barcelona. And we're going to be playing Ajax. And we don't get much luck in these draws, do we? We really, really don't. Ajax is going to be the one, isn't it? We're going to need to take at least four points off them home and away and hope that that's enough to get us in. We need to be parachuting down into that uh, into that Europa League. We're defending 13 coefficient points this season. And, well, to be honest, that couldn't have gone too much worse. Why didn't we get Group D? Unbelievable. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode today, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And we'll be back next time for, oh, here we go, Dumbarton at home in the Iron Brew Cup. A chance for revenge for what they did to us last year. And then we go off to Barcelona and hopefully we return with our uh, dignity. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.